Hey everybody, I'm James. Uh, I'm Russell. This is Outlaw Frags. We're going to talk about a new house today. Well, it's new to us because I've never heard of it. So, a new old house. That's right. Do me a favor, stick around for five seconds. All the longer our intro is, and we will be right back. So, the house we're going to talk about today is Le, Le Jardin. Le Jardin Retro. Retro. <laughs> we're, we're, we're French yes. today. We? Oui? So, uh, they had reached out to me on Facebook and asked me if I'd be interested in checking out some of their fragrances. And I was like, absolutely. So, oh, hey, send me your address and I'll send you some. I'd say probably a week and a half went by. I actually forgot about it, to be honest. And then, like I said the other day, I, Honestly. Yeah, I caught my mailman on the porch. He needed a signature. <laughs> For this? For this, yeah. Oh, okay. So it came, all of these came in this nice little pouch that has the house name right there, as you can see. It came with a handwritten note on the same style artwork as what you're gonna see on the rest of the the packaging. Oh, yeah, because they're little two mil decants, each one yeah. of these. And here, I'll just go through while you're telling them a little bit about the house. Sure. This house actually was started back in 1975 by Yuri Getstutz. Ah, I'm going to just spell his last name because I just totally butchered it. It's G U T S A T Z. And through moving magic, I'm going to put it down below so that you can read it for yourself because I'm pretty sure I just just totally destroyed that name. He passed away in 2005 and I think his son actually took over the house. The house itself. Yeah. Um, Look at the artwork. Though. They have 14 perfumes in their catalog as of today. And, and we have 10 of them. Yeah, we have 10 right here. So we are looking forward to getting in and taking a look. The first one we're going to look at is Citron Bobo. Oh man, I'm not even going to try. It's spelled B O B O. Babalo. What like is Babalo it? Island? Babalo. Babalo Island. Citron yeah. Babalo. All right. Well, that just. And what we're going to do is we're going to break these into series, like you yeah. had said. Um, we're going to do three of them today. And then we'll come back to the other. So we're just going to pull these three out. We're going to set these to the side. The last thing I want to talk about that also came in, which I thought was pretty neat. I'm going to let you guys get all the way up on that. Push my button. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a cool there page you too. Um, you take this little shipping card. You write down your olfactory um, emotion about smelling this. Then you take a picture. You send this back to them, you send the picture to them, and what they do is once a month, they're gonna randomly pick out uh -huh. one, and, they and they're gonna win. That's that's really cool. So if you could win a full bottle of anything, you never yeah. know, or it may not be a full bottle, it may be a sample set, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't really say on, on that. <clears throat> no, it just, it just says, says a giveaway. Someone a to win a lovely surprise. Yeah. Lovely surprise would be a nice full bottle. Did you happen before we get into this? Did you read them what they had said? Um, it says, Bonjour, James. We hope one of these fragrances will become your best friend. We best friends. And you know what? I got to be honest. It, Russell had to read it to me because I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but I could read it because I could read chicken scratch. That's right. Okay, but, so the first one you said is, is Citron Babalo. Yep, and it is a, an aromatic spicy. And the main accords to this are warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, citrus, aromatic, and cinnamon. So this sounds kind of interesting. Yeah. And citron, every time we say citron, you know what my head goes to. Yeah. It's mosquito cool repellent. Citron. Or, yeah, that too. The, well, yeah, and mosquito repellent. Yeah. So this one on the back is, I'm going to show them the back. Each one of them do this. Let me see if I can cheat and just don't touch attack it. my screen. And it's not letting me. But anyways, one side is in French, and one side is in English. Oh, that's cool. So I thought that was a pretty nice touch too for us over here in the English. Yeah. Well, what they've done is they've actually really thought about, you know, the clientele that they're trying to market this to. Oh my God. 
for such a small did you see that spider? yeah i sure did for for a sample that thing so this was originally created back in 1977 and it was created it looks like by the original house starter i guess that's how you say it. the gentleman that actually started the house back in 1977. i'm getting lemon yeah i definitely get something that is along that line and we will take we a little yeah yeah top notes are basically going to be lemon clove geranium cinnamon pepper it's a black pepper yep it's a black pepper this has a really nice lemon i mean smell that that's like yeah, I that am, is really, really nice. I'm trying to remember the other lemon one I have in my collection. It's a genre. Uh, lemons and liquor. Oh, yes, I have that as well. And I think that was probably the most realistic lemon that I own. Yeah. But this is a nice lemon. Yeah, no, this is really, really nice. I, I have to say that. Yeah. I like the smell on this Yeah, one. this is really, really nice. Let's see what else we can find around, find out about this. Well, I can read from the back of this card. Is the 2020, is that the year this one came out? No, no this one was six. actually released, created back in 1977, which is kind of so cool why does because... why 2000, I wonder. I have no idea. If you look at the back of the other ones, they've got years on them, too. So yeah, that's like 1970, 1970 1912. 1912. So this one, uh, this is a mystery that we're yeah, going we'll to research to into out. that says 2000. And this one says, after visiting the Palooza... Pity, you literally make your way to the heights of the Bobby Gardens. The view of Florence is stunning, but a grotto on your right draws you with this its chilled air. Just at the entrance, a statue is beckoned with the beautiful lemons, and which yeah, this got is right really, off the bat. really nice. Are they real? I would say those are real. Yeah, this those has a very lemon. photorealistic lemon to it. Not like pledge or anything like no, that. No, uh -uh. not, not a super synthetic. And what's kind of cool about this is this doesn't come across as something like I would expect Dan from 1977, Mr. Smelly would like you're gonna keep calling him out i do i actually gonna comment on I actually, one of our videos I actually called him out on one of his live feeds with with uh smurfy girl oh yeah yeah she actually kind of called him out too yeah. <laughs> are they real are they virtual why can you smell the fragrance of italian lemon pedigrain bitter orange did you say bitter orange yeah. when you read it and i could definitely them and with the hint of just black pepper and clove, I really where smell does the clove. it come from? Can you smell? I really pick up the clove. This is something that, even though this is less, <laughs> you can't smell the clove in the back. No. I really do. I can really pick it up. And I'm no longer sick. Yeah, I did get sick yesterday, just truth be told. Um, but that was a stomach thing, not a nose thing. I am so well, glad to be Okay, over. this has been redone and relaunched in 2016. It was originally created back in 1977. This is nice. So this is a reformulation of the original that was done back in 1977. You know, I that's am, really, really nice. Yeah, I'm really nervous though if Anisha gets a hold of this. What do you think he's gonna say? If they put down Club de Nui Intense Man and they put down everything like that, even though this is niche, he'd be like, oh, this is Lemon Pledge or but it's a nice lemon. No, you know, you know what I, what it would be. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the quintessential niche head. Oh, this smells just absolutely. This is just, this is prancing furries across a lemon <laughs> field of wonderfulness because it's niche. No, nah, it's actually this doesn't come across as a cleaning product whatsoever. No, not you know what me. it kind of reminds me of. This is kind of sound juvenile, but did you eat lemon heads as a kid? Yeah. It reminds me of a lemon head. Lemon head, they were, had a little white powder on them. Yep. This and you reminds, got them in the bags and you just... This oh, reminds me of a lemon guys. head. Yeah. This I think, is, you, I this think is, you nailed it with that. Yeah, and this would be absolutely wonderful in the heat. I absolutely think so. This is just wonderful. 
And what, like I said before, I hate to repeat myself, this doesn't have, even though the original creation was in 1977, this doesn't smell like 1977. Not yeah, it's at not all. dated at all. That's it's, probably, and it's probably not even from the relaunch in 2016, it's probably just what it smelled like the whole time. It might, yeah, it might very well be, considering neither like, one of us has smelled the original. It just says that it was relaunched in, in 2016. It just kind of reminds me of that lemon and liquor. Yeah. It's got that, that, got that kind realistic of lemon so, vibe to it. All right. What's the next one we're working with? You tell me. What's the next one? Okay. We're go with, how about we go with Cure de Roche, which shouldn't that be Russian, Russian leather, leather, I think, is Maybe. what I would assume. Okay, this date is 1912. The yes. Opera Hall is packed, James. Is it? It is packed. And I am totally dressed for the opera. Daglev. <laughs> is presenting his ballet Russes. Russes. Look, it's it's. I know it's Russes, but it says Russes. Russ, Russes. That's right. Seated in the front row, wide-eyed. You watch. They're just putting Russian names in here. Najiski and his soft leather boots. He leaps, he spins, he fills the stage with bewitching scent of ylang lang violet and cinnamon enveloping a harmony of Cade Wood and Styrak. Styrak. Got Styrak said it? No. You wish that this moment could last forever. forever. <laughs> so you're right. Russian leather, that's what we're Yeah, we what it means. Kinda. So now I am nervous, but it said soft leather, so I'm used to like saddle leather, cowboy boots leather. And the nose behind this is the same nose from the original. These were all created by the same gentleman back in 1977, the oh, starter wow. of the house, which was Yuri. Yeah, it sure does. It says Cyrax, which I'm, if you don't know or haven't seen the photos that I posted on Facebook, I've changed our setup a little bit so I can actually look at for Granica at the same time that we're doing our review. <laughs> okay, you want? I want to be honest with all y'all. Guess what I thought of? Uh huh. I thought of um, what's the name of that cartoon with all the little fluffy guys and the the um, the elephant can see them on the on the the flower. No, Snorax. I... So, so oh, I... Mr. Snuffleupagus. Not no? Mr. Snuffleupagus. Ah, uh, or actually, wait a minute. It's Let like me... Cat in the Hat, or or um. There it is. Let's let's take. It a... smells really good. Smell that. It's not a heavy uh, leather. I was thinking as soon as. Yeah, no, I can just barely pick up like. As a... soon as you said leather, I was I was kind of nervous, like uh oh, because some of them can be really harsh. Yeah. Um, this one's a soft one. Yeah, very and, much and so. That's a good example that they used as his boots, his dancing boots. Yeah, because that's kind of what this comes it's, across it's as. in the back and soft. But the actual front of it, it, it smells really good. Is that the Ylang Ylang that's really popping right there? Man, I'm not even going to lie. I can't break it down. I don't, I, know I don't recognize I don't know the note. Ylang Ylang actually smells like on its own. James and I have been doing, yeah. I bought sample sets of all sorts of different smells. Did you? Just trying to get... Oh, like yeah, the different right. ones breaking them apart, but Ylang Ylang is not a raw one by itself. Yeah. So I can't, I can't sit here and tell them that's what I'm smelling. But it's like a nice bright. There's yeah, it's a really floral. Ylang Ylang is a floral. Um. But I'm I haven't smelt enough stuff because usually Ylang Ylang is is something you find in a feminine base kind of uh, perfume. So I haven't smelt it enough to really be able to be like, oh that's. That's your lingling. That's your I'd be straight up lying, and I'm not going to do that. I will say... Smells good, though. Smells huh? good. This one leans a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit more feminine than the first one did. It's still completely unisex, but this one smells a little bit more... Well, this is definitely unisex. A little bit I more feminine. I don't know anyone that can't pull off lemon. Yeah, that smells amazing. This one... Oops. You think more feminine? Just a little bit. Not a whole bunch, but a little bit. And I don't... Are you saying that it's floral? Because I'm not getting a floral. Yeah, it's either. got a little floral 
touch to it. And I think that's what the ylang ylang is. Like, I don't pick up the cinnamon, I don't pick up the patchouli, or really, I don't really pick up anything besides... That's noted there? Yeah, that's kind what of... What is the purple one? That is... Juniper. Juniper berry. And that is a main ingredient in, in um, Aventus, which I'm really familiar with. I don't I pick like it up this either. One. I like it too. I was kind of nervous, like, I, I'm not going to lie to anyone out there, when it's Russian leather, it's like... Yeah, and I have. Uh oh. Let's see what the last one we're dealing with here is. Oh, it is delicious. That's right. I, actually, that sounded more Spanish than it's sure. How do you do? Delicious. Yeah, and, and, and we're not even sure if that's. Delicious. Delicious, yeah. Delicious. We are totally just <laughs> butchering that. We word. are from, not from Paris, but yeah. Paris is a nice place to visit. You want to read just off of that one or no. from there? Did you go ahead and... This is 1970. This was a perfect year. That's not when this was made. That's the number on the back of it. And this one is a citrus aromatic. The main wow. accords are citrus, woody, green, aromatic, and fresh spicy. You green. should probably like this. Does it come across green? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Green and spicy almost. Yeah. The Garden of Delight, painted in 1503, which I'm assuming is going to be... I don't know why my camera all of a sudden... I think because we haven't unlocked. Let me unlock it just for a second. Bergamot, li lemon bergamot from Italy, Neroli from Greece, orange and mandarin enhanced with touches of oak moss, sandalwood, mysore, and musk. This is really nice. Yeah, this one says the Garden of Delight, which was painted in 1503, intrigues everyone who comes to see it, including you. So you are intrigued. Yeah. Suddenly, you hear a sound of a glass that someone dropped. It leaves behind a light, fresh scent, a harmony of lemon, bergamot, mandarin, pedigree, and lavender quenches your thirst, and the base notes of cypress, Patchouli and oak moss captivate you yeah, off the back is, of the car. This is another summer, summer, all day long. I like that yeah. one. That one like really pops out there. And I would have to say if if I had to rank them one through three, I would say that. What is the name of this one? Lemon. Oh, <laughs> oh <snap> Citron. <laughs> we'll call it lemon. Yeah, Bob Bobaloo. Right, Citron Babalu. Citron Babalu would be my number one. And I am just having a hell of a time. With, I'm going to agree with you um, on that one. Yeah. Being number one so far. And this would be my number two. And this one is, I'm just knocking everything over. Edas de Lis. This lemon, though, I mean, there's no no comparing and, and they're just all three of these are Darken. so far different from each other but still quite the same I yeah mean, these spring, are all summer spring summer, summer spring summer too maybe a tweener <clears throat> maybe when it starts to either if it's hot and it's cooling down or if it's or been cold. nighttime yeah nighttime oh, spring because in that the, would probably be really good yeah the top of that 38 seconds left hey you know what we're gonna go we're not gonna leave you hanging we're not. so so I will say that with this, it would be, like we were just saying for me, it would be one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to keep this forever because we've been rambling like a couple of old ladies. So do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. We've got the entire, how many do we have? Ten? Ten total. Ten of these to go through. So do us a favor. Make sure you come back and join us with the rest of the seven that we have to go through. And we will catch you guys on the next one.